The city of Albuquerque spends millions of dollars every year addressing problems surrounding homelessness. But now a city councilor is demanding a detailed account of who is getting that money and where exactly it's going. News 13's Jessica Salinas spoke to count the councilor making the push. What we're asking for in this resolution, um, we're asking for a lot of detail. That request for a detailed breakdown on how Albuquerque spends money on the homeless is what the city councilor Renee Grau is now asking the color administration to provide in a new piece of councilor legislation. Just to get a clarification of what their scope of work is um, and just see where uh, we might have overlaps or there might be gaps in the services. Grout's resolution demands a report in 60 days outlining how much and where the city spent money on homelessness over the past five years. This budget year, the city expects to spend more than $8 million on several efforts tied to the unhoused, including work done by at least 14 different service providers. The fact that we're spending a lot of money on, on these kind of services, it's important that we're getting what we're asking for. The request comes just a month after the city launched this website with data on homelessness. But Councillor Grout says more information is needed. I drive up Central every day. I see, um, I see the same people, the same I'm situations, good. the same sadness, um, and I know I'm not the only person that sees these things. The counselor wants a full list of all city service providers, of how many people they serve and the work they do. It's not getting better. And so we need to be getting these people into services, into housing, into treatment, you know, whatever, whatever's missing. We need to be helping them. Jessica Salinas, KRQE News 13. A spokeswoman for the Health, Housing and Homelessness Department says they're still reviewing the resolution and emphasize that all homelessness funding is approved by counselors as part of the yearly budget process. The full statement is on KRQE.com.